to end with this beautiful smile of this poor man. God bless the poor. As Jesus, he blessed them. And we pray that the one who is needy and poor, the Lord will support him, especially the children. And uh, we hope and we pray that the whole world would come into peace and all demonic cults and religion would be defeated and peace will, will be over the earth. So nobody have enemies and we don't have enemies. That's what we want as a Christians. We don't want to hate anyone. And we want peace for the world. But in order to have peace, you have to work for it and you have to fight for it. Sadly, peace will happen only by war. Where you defeat the wicked, otherwise the wicked they will never stop. As long as the wicked are flourishing, you know, war is like cleaning the yard, your yard, from the weeds. You have to attend your yard. If you have a garden, if you don't go out, or if you leave the house for a year, you come back, you will find the weeds, and they are ugly, disgusting. Your, your yard looks so crazy. It looks demonic, actually. Imagine, even weeds, by the way. Those are not a human being. Even weeds, they can make, they can make a beautiful garden look demonic, satanic. And Islam is the same as a weed. So you have to attend your garden, and somebody have to put his hands in the dirt, and he will get hurt. His hand will bleed. There is needles. There is a thorn. You know, thorn. Uh, taking weeds is not an easy job. Very, and they are stubborn. And you know, the strange is, in this life, that if there is something fruitful, uh, useful, you struggle to make it grow. Like if you want to grow tomato, it takes a lot of care. Cucumber, any kind of vegetables, fruits, need a lot of care. Weeds do not need care. They take, not only they grow massive, they take over. They destroy everything. And to take them off is even more ugly. However, it's worth it. After you clean your yard from the weeds, you have a different life. So Islam is one of the weeds we have around us. We have the liberals, who they are poisoning the mind and the head of children, corrupting society. They think they are the best. They think they are the one, they are the only one have morality when the fact they have zero moral. They speak of a human right, but they kill babies. They do abortion. They speak about equality, but in fact, they don't believe in equality because you do not need to change gender to make yourself equal to somebody if you believe in equality. If you believe in equality, you are equal without changing anything on you, as you are. Uh, you do not need to prove to me that you are equal by format of a clothing or format of shaving or the way you act. You don't need, as a female, you don't need to speak like a boy to make yourself equal. Uh, weeds, drugs in the society, destroying children, killing, killing, killing young men, a lot of weeds, prostitution, porn, politics, but, you know, what we can do, this is how our human being life is, is the same as somebody doing farming, and he need to keep his life, like a farmer, farmer, away from weeds. And it's endless, but you don't give up, because if you give up, the weeds will take over. You take weed today, still there will be weeds tomorrow. But still you do it, because simply, this is the way it have to be done. There's no other way. And you have to do it yourself.